Hey there, y'all. Bunkle here. Hope you've been having a great day. Hope you've been having a blessed day. Hope every day is a blessed day for you and y'all. So, I'm going to be doing kind of a box swap here. Uh, somebody asked a question a while back, uh, and I think they might have been kind of surprised. Um, all of these boxes are actually full. Um, I don't use prop boxes or anything like that. And uh, I'd like to, in this video, invite y'all for a for a box swap, okay? I'm going to be taking one of these boxes off of here and going to be opening it and going through half of the packs in the box. Uh, maybe half, maybe more, maybe less. I don't know. I think I'm going to be aiming for half. So what we're going to be opening in this video is these 1992 Classics Best Minor League Baseball Cards. I'm going to be replacing the box up on the display with an upper deck basketball that will get open sometime in the future. So hopefully in the near future. Let's see how time and all of that other stuff goes. Always got a million things going on, but isn't that everybody's life kind of right now? Anyway, so in this minor league baseball card box, what can we find here? Well, these are 1992. So, in some ways, the highlight of these is the Derek Jeter pre-rookie card. Now, if you're looking at PSA values and all that stuff, and of course, we definitely tend to look at PSA-type values, the Jeter itself, recent sales are somewhere in the 75, $70 to $75 range. Uh, there's a couple cards that are higher priced. Those are the Ken Griffey Jr. cards. Now, there's also insert cards that are part of these, uh, and they mention right there, you got some possible autograph cards if you could see those right there of nolan ryan ken griffey jr brian taylor oh yeah the famous infamous yankee pitcher that was going to be the next dwight gooden or the next who knows what and burned out before he even made it uh, blew out his arm blew out his shoulder blew out his entire career before he even made it to the majors now some of the insert some of the insert cards that can be found in here are what they call the red bonus and the blue bonus. Now, the blue bonus is a Jeter rookie. Um, there is a Jeter rookie, and there is also a, I, I shouldn't even say rookie, I should say pre-rookie. Uh, there's also a Chipper Jones, uh, Mike Piazza. Now, these, although they were minor league baseball cards, they also have current, at that time, major league, pres major league players in their minor league uniforms. For example, Nolan Ryan. Uh, Nolan Ryan is definitely in this set. Uh, definitely one of the, I guess, great cards that you could possibly find. Uh, Hall of Famer. It shows him in his minor league uniform with Jacksonville. So, some definitely cool stuff that could be in here. Uh, there's also a bunch of players that should have been somebody. Again, I brought up Brian Taylor. They should have, could have, would have, but they didn't. Uh, others that became minor stars or somewhat major stars. Um, players like Bobby Abreu, Johnny Damon, Jason Kendall, Andy Pettit. Uh, Manny Ramirez was great. He was a little bit weird, uh, but I really liked him as a player. Um, with all of the additional stuff and all of that, uh, just seeing him was entertaining. Um other players that made it to the majors, like Paul Bird, Javi Lopez, um, Cliff Floyd, Shannon Stewart, uh, they were also within these. Within these, and then there were a ton of players that never quite made it and uh, ended up who knows where, doing what knows where, and all of that other stuff. Now, there's Red Bonus as well. Uh, they're another one of the insert sets. No Jeter there, but there is a Griffey Jr. Oh. And with the uh, with the blue bonus, okay, the some of those actually do have some really good value. Uh, and I went through Jeter, Chipper Jones, Mike Piazza, Ken Griffey Jr. The three first I mentioned: Derek Jeter, Chipper Jones, and Mike Piazza. Those are all over two hundred bucks. The Jeter tops them out. Uh, the prices have dropped definitely over the past few months. Uh, latest sale on that was three hundred fifty bucks, more or less. Uh, but they were up over five hundred at one point. Now, the autograph cards, uh, there are a few of those, as I mentioned, also. Uh, there's Griffey Jr., there's Nolan Ryan, uh, David McCarthy, who? Mike Schmidt, pretty cool, and Brian Taylor. Now, 
and the, and also of course Royce Clayton. I, I don't know why I say of course, but uh, those were those were only the Royce Claytons were only in white wrapper packs issued in '93. Uh, the Griffey Jr., the Nolan Ryan, and the Mike Schmidt. Not many of those have been found or submitted to PSA. Uh, but those are serial numbered through 3,100 for Griffey and Ryan. 4,100 through Mike Schmidt for Mike Schmidt. And the, the tough find would be the David McCarthy. Who? I don't know, but I guess he was supposed to have been somebody. That was serial number to 1,000. So... All in all, pretty cool. The Brian Taylor, of course, was another one. That was serial number to 3,100. So let's get started on these. Now, collect all 400 cards, 12 cards per pack. More than 12,000 randomly inserted. Yeah, inside reversible crush-proof box. Okay, so let's see. There's a crush-proof box. Let's do a little cutting there and see what kind of crush-proof that they use to make these nice. Now, I don't remember when these were out in the market. Uh, I don't know. If I even paid attention if they were in my stores. I don't recall. I don't remember. But definitely classic brand name cards. Uh, design pretty lame. Uh, definitely not up to any kind of real design standards. I mean, crisp white borders, that's for sure. And I don't know how exactly this is crush proof. But got cards, nice black packaging. That's for sure. They don't look horrible. Uh Let's see, we're going to take two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I think that's half a box. Got twelve packs there. I'll open the other twelve. There's another twelve in there. Yeah, one, two, three. No, more than that. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four left in this. There's 36 packs per box. I, I hmm. You know what, I'll do 12 in this one, or maybe 12 in a, another future one, and pop open the rest over time. So this is going to go back up on the stack of packs. Got a bunch of stuff there. And yeah, even the uh, the vending boxes, those are full with uh, either 87, 88s, or 89s. I have a couple cases sitting in the back. Some I'll open on video occasionally. Others, you know what, I'm just going to sort through and use them for team packs, Hall of Fame packs, and who knows, maybe sometime... Some kind of submission to somewhere for something if they have proper centering and all of that. And sharp corners, sharp edges, sharp, 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 all of that sharp stuff. Anyway, I got my frappers ready. I got my top loaders ready just in case we pull anything cool out of these. And I'm fully expecting that we will. I always kind of expect that we will, but, you know, that's just me. Anyway, let's get started now. I do like this. These are not just normal packs. These are like individual little boxes here. So that's pretty cool. So, yeah, I could see how it could be considered crush-proof. I like this. It's like a little box holding your cards inside. That's pretty cool. And who are we starting off with here? I like that. Starting off with Manny. That's real nice. Nice-looking Manny Ramirez card. Could have, should have, would have been Hall of Fame. Let me get these off over to the side here. Got my Wawa card over there, too. So we're starting off with Manny Ramirez. I mean... Nice enough centering, nice edges, really good edges there. I mean, if he would have been Hall of Fame, this would really have been worth something nice. But uh, yeah, considering and all that, it's not even worth the price submission. I think the most recent sales were in the twenty dollar range. Anyway, I, I I like I like Manny as a player. I'm going to keep him on the side. I keep mentioning I like Manny as a player. He was he was definitely a goof. Got Jim Givens. Aaron Seeley, that was one of the ones that did make it to the majors, but not maybe as far as he could have. Joe Ciccarella or Cicerella. Gar Finvold. I mean, uh, okay. Cool name there, I guess. Jesus Tavares. Now, photography on this is kind of lame also. But yeah, 1992. Got Marcus Armas. This is what the back of these look like. Bunch of minor league stats. He's got a bunch of eye black going on there. I gotta wonder if he's any relation to Tony Armas. Back from the Oakland A's and Red Sox. Reed Cornelius. Craig Clayton. Kevin Morgan. Now with the packaging that these were in. I, I don't think that they'd be any dings or anything like that on the corner. That's a, it's actually a great innovation. Got Phil Dauphine. 
and Tim Costo. So, in my mind, I'm going to get this first one, Rappard and Frappard, the Man Ram card, as a minor league. I mean, he's in the minor leagues, fresh out of George Washington High School in New York. Got him in the Indians uniform. That's pretty cool. I don't think he'd made it to the Indians yet. But pretty cool there. Let's get that one up on the wall of fame. And get started with pack number two here. Now there are, as I mentioned, players that had already made the majors. And we're starting off with, on this one, with Joel Gilmore. He's wearing a Philadelphia Phillies uniform. So he's obviously in the majors. I mean, unless this is a spring training game or something like that. And he's pitching there. But I can't say I remember who he was. If y'all remember, let me know. Mention in the comments. Glenn Murray. Yep, and we saw the Expos there, and here we're seeing a minor league uniform for Tim Bummer. Oh, well. Bye-bye, Bummer. Got Sean Ryan. Very weird batting stance, I guess. Yeah, the ball looks like it was down in the dirt. You see a bit of a splash there. Matt Howard. Eric Christofferson. Now, that name is spelled different, so I don't think he's at all related to Chris Christofferson. But anyway, and like always, we got ourselves a checklist. A classic best checklist, 346 to 400. That's pretty cool. Don't know if there's much of anybody that's mentioned on there. 346. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Chad Scheinvogel. 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 Now that, that kind of last name, that would be real tough to get on the back of a jersey. Willis Otanez, P.J. Forbes. Ooh, Piazza pre-rookie. That's nice. That's a nice one. Very cool there. Yep. Look at that. There we go. Very cool, Mike Piazza. Centering is a smidge off. It looks like left to right. But still a nice card to find. For any Mike Piazza fans out there. But again, considering that uh, as far as PSA values, not even worth grading and let, even in a 10. Uh, I mean, PSA 10 value on that. The most recent sale, although it's probably a, a while ago, was around 25 bucks. So it's one of those, unless you really need to see Piazza in a slab, you got to wonder if it's, it's, if it's even worth it. Maybe someday, although I don't see how it'd go up all that much. Let's see pack number three here. We got Eric Schulstrom, 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 Roger Luce, got Manny Cora, Dave Schwarzbach, Kevin Tata, he's a Tata, Kilvio Kil Veras, Kilvio, and a chipper. All right, well, now we're stepping up. That's a nice chipper, Jones, there. That's the base card. Not the special red or blue or any of that. But that's a nice chipper. Chipper pre-rookie. That I'll, I'll definitely frapper that one up. Steve Cook. Johnny Ruffin. Julio Bruno. Steve Dixon and Brad Ausmus. Major leaguer. Sometime down the road. Not Hall of Famer, but nice find. I mean, he did make the majors. Shows him in double A there with the Yankee helmet on. That's pretty interesting. Well, it's probably the Albany Yankees. Yep, Albany Yankees. As opposed to the New York Yankees. Right, let's get a frapper on the chipper. That's a nice one for any Chipper Jones fan out there, that's for sure. Now again, I don't remember seeing much of these. And maybe some of y'all have seen more of these than I have. But these are definitely cool. I I probably would have complained at the time about how lame the design is. Although the players, again, I, some of them I might not have complained about. I mean, pulling a Nolan Ryan or somebody like that or a Griffey Jr., that would have been great back when. Um, I would have been like, Chipper what? Got Damon Mashburn, Ma Mashur, Mashur. Rex. Great name, Rex. Although... 
I don't know what kind of batting stance that is. De La Duez. Elston Hansen. Craig Paquette. Feels like a thick card there. Derek White. Doug Platt. Splat Platt. Brad Pennington. Bobby Perna. Perna. Chris Gies. Glass Gies. Kevin Stocker, Willie Kanate, and John Fink. All right, y'all. Sorry for the interruption there. A little blip. That is something else I had to go get done. All right, next pack here. Now, let me not ruin whatever's on top or in the middle or on the bottom. There's always something good somewhere in there. I don't know where it might be or if we'll find it. Got Daryl Sherman. Well, that's not exactly what we'd be looking for. Doug Vanderweel. Omar Guerin. Chris Curtis. Jason Pruitt. Rick Cleland for the Polecats. Tate Seafried. Country Fried and got Seafried. John Ellerman. Another Manny card. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. Got two Mannies. Uh, yep. Basic. They're both are the same. Jim Givens. Aaron Seeley. Okay. And Joe Ciccarella. Looks like we've, we've seen some of those before. So we're starting to see some duplicates in this box. Either way, nice enough for Manny Ramirez card there. Next pack. Well, to me, we've got ourselves a pretty good 2-3-4 in the lineup. And maybe 2-3-4-5, I mean, if you want to count Manny twice. Got Matt Smith. Ken Powell. Homer Bush. I seem to remember him, I'm, I think, from the Twins. Tim Parker. John Roper, Jerome Tolliver, Troy Hughes, Scott Bullitt, Tom Reddington, Kerwin Moore, Pedro Griffal, and Darren Ga Dar Darren Darren Ga Darius Gash. I'll get his name right eventually. So we still got our two, three, four, five going there. I don't know. Maybe we could separate it and put Manny Ramirez up eighth as well as three. I don't know. That'd be pretty cool. All right. Let's see what we got here. Mike Bush. <laughs> Rigo Beltran. Nope. I don't know him. John Byington, 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 Mandy Romero, Billy Lott, Doug Brady, Old Mark Hubbard, Desi Relaford, he also made it to the majors, Chad Ogia, Nigel Wilson, Brian Warren, and Hugh Walker. Well, it doesn't look like he's walking much there. He looks like he's swinging away for the fences and... I, I, from the look of that, I think he missed. But what do I know? Maybe he actually hit one. Might have been the only one he ever hit. I don't know. All right, who we got in here? Kurt Miller. David Tolkholm. Brian Lane. Mike Guerrero. Steve Gibraltar. Paul Bird. Vasquez, John Farrell, Don Spark, Jim Austin. Now, I remember him from when the game that... No, I don't remember him. Well, I hope his mama does. Got Keith Gorgonzola, Gor Garagozo, Garagozo, Gorgonzola, okay. And Jeremy McGarley, McGarrity. Yeah, okay. Not exactly household names, although I am looking for the household names of Jeter, Ryan, uh, Griffey, 
Those would be nice, but not yet. Got some somewhat household names of Manny Ramirez, Piazza, and Chipper Jones, depending on what household you're in. But all right, we got Ben Bloomdahl, Dahal, 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 Brian Culling, David Miliki, 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 Milik, Milik, whatever. Clemente Alvarez. Now he's got a great first name, but uh, yeah, no, I don't think so. It was with the Birmingham. Birmingham Barons did not turn into Hank Aaron for sure. Matt Cubel, Cubal, Gary Heimel, Joseph Eichen, Kiki Jones, Kiki, Alan Watson, Dimitri Young. Yeah, that's, he's definitely in the majors already there. Well, if he's not, he's really close because that looks exactly the way I remember Dimitri Young looking. And, uh, we're in a Cardinals uniform, but that's from the Springfield Cardinals. That's only when he was an A. Wow. See, that's another cool thing. Cards also tell you what division or what league they were in when these cards came out. Whether A, double A, single A, triple A. So you got an A there too. And Sean Purdy. A. A, A, A. A, 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 A. All right, three packs left out of these 12. See what doesn't stink in this pack. I mean, we, again, we still got our three, four, or two, three, four, five going. Looking for the rest of the lineup, maybe a pitcher. We want a pitcher, not a belly itcher. Got Robin Eorn, Eorn, Eorn. James Bishop. Jason McFarlane. David McCarty, Chris Gyams, James Doherty. What are you throwing the ball, dude? Looks like you dropped it, man. That's horrible. Yeah, you probably never made it out of A-ball pitching like that. Got Daryl Ramsey, Mark Zappelli, Jason Townley, Robert Saltz, Danny Young, and Mike Edwards. Now, I probably could have, could have put Dimitri Young up there if I was really building a lineup. But I'm not, so... I mean, I'm, I, I am building a lineup, but I'm not. I, I don't need a lineup that badly to put Dimitri Young up on the Wall of Fame. No. Nah. Okay, Creighton Guben, Gubinek, Gubinich. Brent Gates... Derek Livernoise, Brad Seltzer, Johnny Guzman, Chris Martin, Chris Martin, Mike Kelly, Jason Alsteed, Kenneth Gillum, Timmy Morrow, that's tomorrow, Ray Jackson, and Howard Battle. I uh, it looks like he won that battle. Maybe not too many more after that. So I'm getting to the last pack here. Just want to say I thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for subscribing, commenting, thumbs up, and, and all that other stuff. Definitely appreciate all y'all. I mean, I have fun doing this, but uh, have more fun interacting in the comments. That's for sure. I mean, we could get goofy there. Well, I can get goofy no matter where, but that's another story altogether. Got Chad Ogia, Nigel Wilson again, Brian Warren again, Hugh Walker again, Greg Blosser, okay, Greg Pierkel, Tuki Span, Tuki Span, Jeff Williams, Steve Sadecki. I wonder if he's any relation to Mike Sadecki, the Giants pitcher from way back when. I think he was with the Giants. A ball there. Brian DuBose, I think, well, I hope he's not a pitcher because that's like underhanded and we're not playing softball, sir. Ryan Hall Blitzel and Micah Lewis. So, all in all, not bad, not great, not bad. Got a couple of Manny Ramirez, got a Mike Piazza, and got a Chipper Jones pre-rookie card. Pretty cool. I mean, you know what? You never know what the future was going to hold for any of these players when they were just coming up in these pictures, raw, young. Uh, 
just minor league players at that time. I mean, Chipper was in A ball when that was taken. Mike Piazza was in double A ball. So who was to say with 100% certainty that they'd be Hall of Famers? Manny Ramirez was in A ball. Who was to say with any kind of certainty that he would end up being as weird as he was? I don't think anybody would have except, again, people that went to him to high school with him in G-Dubs. G-Dubs was, uh, was actually a, a high school that was, I mean, if you're thinking mileage, maybe a mile away from the high school that I went to uh, when I was a kid, but uh, definitely had, a, had an interesting reputation for being a bit wild. And I guess my high school did also. Uh, John F. Kennedy High School in the Bronx was definitely a bit wild. Uh, but G-Dubs was another kind of animal altogether. And I go back and forth, I guess, as far as which one was worse. It was a competition, I think, as far as which one was worse in any given year. But anyway, it was all fun. Anyway, y'all take care. Stay well. Stay blessed. Bonkle out.